Desecration Smile, Ooh. a little number that has also Ooh. been performed live way before we started even tracking this record. When it had a different chorus. When it had a completely different chorus. That was not very good. It wasn't as good. A very confusing chorus. It was a whole other can of worms. Yeah. I don't know if it was Rick or somebody, I don't know who's thought that, yeah, I like that part, but I don't, I don't know about the chorus kind of thing. Some, somehow yeah, Rick, that came... Rick, I guess, didn't like it, because Rick had, Rick had oh, been was, there at, he the was at the Bridge School Benefit, and he said that song is incredible. When you guys go into the verse of that, it's amazing. He said Paul McCartney was watching from the side, and, and, and he saw Paul like nodding his head to it or saying something like, that was a great change there or something, and, and Rick was so excited, and... And, but he said the chorus of that song really really wasn't taking good, off. And it wasn't as good as the it verse It wasn't as part. good as the verse. Yeah. And, and we wanted one that was, if anything, better than the verse, or at least uplifting from the verse. That was a song that we knew had something to offer big time. Yeah. But we ha had not found the, the puzzle. Yeah. We had not solved the puzzle until John brought in yeah. the new chorus. You I came in with the... came with in the, with that. And it was, it was good. I still had a... I remember there was a certain quality in the other chorus that it went from major to minor when it went from the chorus back into the verse. And, and, and so I, I think I made even more of that because I made a chorus that, that had a really major key feel and then, and, then, and then back into the dark verse and stuff. I don't know the lyrics. I know bits of the lyrics, but it really feels like, like the dark side of love. Like the, it is. The it's dark, just the dark side of love oof. that you gotta love because it's life. This is about a specific situation. Well, you know, the, the, all of the love songs from, from my point of view, and this were pretty much written about Heather. Right. I mean, they're either written about Heather or they're written about previous relationships gone awry. And just kind of, you know, not analyzing mm -hmm. why these things have gone bad, but just kind of more listening to music and channeling, you mm -hmm. know, thoughts and images and ideas of what happened. Mm -hmm. So it's not really like psychoanalysis, but just kind of channel some some shit. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah. No, that song works out. Yeah. That song is coming from a, a real ass place. Yeah. And it just worked out to me. It, it haunts the hell out of me. Right. It's it's got a spell. Uh huh. You know, and I think it's a chordal thing. Yeah. There's some notes in those chords. Yeah. That just kind of go. Whoosh, yeah. And then I feel like what. What's I happening? I think it's everything, you know. I, I, I think like, the chords are so beautiful. Um, I feel like, like I love the way that the bass and the guitar hook up in mm. that song. Mm. It has a real, mm. like it sounds a little woodsy to me, mm. woody, like a natural tree. When you pull out of the intro? Tree. When it yeah. pulls out of the intro yeah. and you just start driving? Yeah, it's just, it's a real nice feel. I know? am jumping in that vehicle with yeah. you guys at that point. <laughs> yeah, it's good.